Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How are you all doing today? Today we're looking at a Whirlpool Duet. This Duet, he's got a lot of hours on it. It's throwing a drain error code. It usually starts with a D. It'll start with a D usually, or yeah, it usually starts with a D. Drain error code. Basically, it wouldn't. It's not pumping out the water. You can see there's excess water in here. And so that's going to be one of the problems right there. It does not pump out the water. Either the water pump has failed or the water pump is plugged up. And let's check the action on this bearing. So this basket bearing uh, would will commonly fail after a few years. I would imagine this machine is probably at least six years old. And it's a pretty big barrel basket, so it's likely, it, because this is a community household, that the basket has been overfilled over the years a few times, I would imagine. See, this is model number WFW70HEBWO. And if we check the action on the basket, basically by lifting up and down on the top of it lightly and to see if we feel for any play in the shaft or the bearing. Yes, we have quite a bit of play in this shaft. Um, and so, basically, I'm really um, surprised that this thing is still working because of the amount of play in this basket. Yeah, it's 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 pretty much on its way out. So this one here, there's two ways to clean the pump out. Basically, we can take the front panel off and the front boot off, or we can go around the back, take the back panel off, and clean the pump out that way. The typical way to do it is to pull the whole front panel off. I'm going to probably explore both ways at this point and see which one's easiest. Okay, so if we put it on drain spin, we hear the pump. And we're getting a little bit of flow out of here, but not very much. At least the pump is not rattling. We can hear the pump noise. not have a bad sound to it. But what is likely happening is uh, some small pieces of clothes and the clothes have gotten uh, stuck in the sump or in either in the pump. Commonly if you don't use net netted clothes then you will if you don't put your clothes in a net then you will may lose small socks or little pieces of garments in and they will get sucked in between the boot and the basket, and that could be a problem. Okay, so I decided, like I did many times, that going through the back is the easiest way to pull this pump apart. Basically, I've already pulled the pump out. I tried to drain as much water as I could by a siphon action. I lower the drain tube down to the bottom and it siphons out. And from here, I could take the, the pump loose if you tip the uh, machine uh, from the front up. And you can loosen the little rubber grommets that hold this in place and then put it back in. Um, I'm gonna, I've already cleaned this out. Basically it's a turn uh, cap on that, it turns and there's a little filter in there. And the filter was like 90 percent plugged up 
a uh, lot of debris in here. This is lint, this is scale, um, hair ties, money, things like that get plugged up in here. There's a lot of scale. This is scale from uh, the chlorine and fluoride that comes off the pipes and basic minerals, etc. And so hopefully this one will be good to go. What I'll probably do is take this uh, rubber off here, make sure it's all clear in there. It actually feels like there's something in there. And then we should be able to go get back on the road with this thing. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. Thank you for your support.